What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. Um, <laughs> actually that's a lie. I'm a couple of re recaps behind on Invicta. Um, first we had the update and then we had a big war against North Remembers. Uh, busy, super busy weekend for me. So not going to lie to you, I'm a couple of recaps behind. So I'm pumping these out right now this morning. We're getting them done. We're putting in work because um, there are some awesome attacks by these Invicta guys that I have to show. So let's just hop right over there uh, against this uh, Barbion X1 clan. Uh, really just dominated. 100 to 72 was the final score. Uh, they were a level 8 clan. Kind of take a look at their info here. Um, so Malaysian clan, 179 wins though. So that was somewhat impressive. Uh, that guy never uses attacks, but you know, a lot of second attacks not used. They kind of gave up. Uh, more or less gave up so uh, we're just gonna hop right in here check out what Invicta did cleared up the nines like champs and twos on all the tens giving KNX who was uh, down hanging out in Invicta for exam week uh, a chance to get a triple here so let's just rock uh, walk in and uh, see this triple by KNX uh, <laughs> no joke of a base by any means 30 30 30 heroes here um, KNX opts for the double freeze with only four haste, a rage, uh, and a jump spell here. So goes ahead and drops two giants. King and queen go in behind. Just going to force his way into that uh, air defense and rage it up right on top of that defensive queen. Take her out. Uh, air defense is down. Uh, their job is done. In goes KNX's air attack. Couple lava hounds on that first air defense. Few balloons kind of targeting all those uh, all those air defenses. Here come the little mini ring of hastes. He just wants to push all those balloons he just dropped into that little core section. Then he's going to do the same thing on the back side, just without the hastes. He does have a freeze, which just went down. Another freeze is going to go down on this back end. Really good value on those because he's getting two Teslas and an Inferno, and then two Teslas and an Inferno. So beautiful value on those on those freezes. Rage goes down to busting up everything in this core there's really only that last air defense and the six o'clock defense is remaining like I think he killed this base in about a minute and a half <laughs> just absolutely destroyed it nice job knx putting up the triples for invicta <clears throat> three stars what this little delay after it now is ever since the update oh well all right Check out a few of these nines here. Just going to try and fly through these because, like I said, I'm a little bit behind. So uh, just going to try and show my favorite attacks and then uh, move on here. So uh, uh, there were a few nice in the top, uh, a few nice top Town Hall nines. But I know you guys kind of like seeing those middle middle to lower uh, Town Hall nines that a lot more people can relate to. Let's check Skip's sexy attack on 19 here. He brings a bit of a queen walk with seven Valks. I thought that was really cool. You guys notice how it much more, I guess because the map is bigger how much more zoomed out it looks nowadays i don't know i really noticed it when i'm doing my uh, base building specifically uh and scouting but anyhow so queen goes down he's already got a minion down creating the funnel he does not want her walking up he wants to just step up take out that uh air defense and work her way down here uh you'll kind of see what he does here uh he brings 12 balloons which is very light on the back end uh, but it's enough. If you can get a big enough chunk out of this queen walk, which Skip does here, uh, you're looking pretty. So the queen's just going to continue walking down, I believe. Uh, yeah, there goes his golem. Sends it in from the 6 o'clock. So just cold-blooded with seven Valks. Not much of a funnel to create, right? Gets those couple wizards down on this far side because really he just wants to push all these Valks up and into this uh, air defense that's there. Pulls the CC out to the queen. Uh, she gets in a little bit of trouble, but he raises it up. No big deal. Um, something to be very careful about, guys, is the healers have been nerfed um, slightly. Uh, I don't know if you noticed it in your Super Queens. Because uh, see, that literally the only thing on that queen is the Expo and that uh, uh, Mortar Splash damage. And she is struggling to keep up with those three healers. Um, so just be very careful. It's still possible. These queen walks um, and queen charges and stuff. Queen charges, I'd say less so. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's it's impossible i'm just saying it's a little bit more tricky you need to be your queen is going to be a little more fragile the healers do not do 
as good of a job as they used to. So just something to keep in mind for your raids, guys. Uh, Skip has just completely shredded this core. He's about to send in the remainder of his balloons and this one Lava Hound for this last uh, air defense. I really like the one Golem, one Lava Hound for this raid. Uh, Skip does a really good job. Um, I remember being in Victor watching his plans. He when, or sorry, when I would post plans, Skip quite often would be like, I don't know if you need that extra Lava Hound. Um, he seems to be the master of knowing exactly how many lava hounds you need, when you need two, when you need three. Um, my general rule is you always bring an extra one for how many air defenses you're going to have left. That's not the case with Skip. Skip really breaks it down and looks at the level of the air defense, level of the other defenses, and, and makes a much better judgment call on whether or not he needs that extra lava hound. He didn't even need that one, to be honest, with his deployment, because it is pure cleanup. Skip just killed this base with the uh swag haste down in the center nice job buddy tree stars okay 22 a hand yeah s17 brings another <laughs> brings a 17 valk attack keep in mind he does not have his king for this uh this raid you don't need your king when the base is a huge box base i'd say 90 percent of the base is in the same compartment so again i said and featured in other videos that is a no-no because someone's just going to come and bring a mass valk and shred your base he does bring these six hogs and if the six hogs are for the cannon and archer tower in the compartments that the valks are not going to be in so goes ahead and draws the cc out double poison again overpoweredness on the double spell bringing, the double poison, or the double earthquake. Just ridiculous. I don't know what Supercell was thinking. Apparently Town Hall 9 was too hard, but I guess we're going to see how easy it gets now. Because this extra 30 seconds I've counted, I, I can't, sorry, I've tried to count. I've lost count now on how many raids I've seen that would have failed pre-update. But we're now three stars post-update with that extra 30 seconds and the extra spell. It's just... Just ridiculous. So look at all those redheads going in there. <laughs> he does bring four heals. So he's just going to basically heal this whole compartment in quadrants. Second heal is going to go down right there. Boom. Uh, the Valks get sucked right onto that queen. He does have, does have a few straggling over to the side here. He's going to drop one more heal there and one more heal there. And this base is GGC. Still does have... Oh, he did send those two hogs down in on that one defense there. But he's got a couple more for these back end defenses. Which are going to go down any second now. There go two. And then he's going to drop two more in this archer tower, I believe. Or maybe even from 6 o'clock. But <laughs> it's S17. Just destroyed this base with a 17 Valk attack. I loved it. Last heal is about to go down over this section right here. And there goes the last two hogs I was talking about on that outside Archer Tower. His queen is still in there doing work. Those Valks are in there doing work. Just got a couple more defenses to go. And it is cleanup time. Nice job, S17. Just murdered this box base. Thought it was uh, fairly humorous to watch this attack. Keep in mind, no king as well. So, good job, buddy. Okay, one more here for you. It's really nice, actually, to see a 35-man war over here in Invicta. Um, I think this was a few guys to hopped over that weren't in the North Remembers War to kind of fill some weight in here, uh, like I mentioned KNX and some other guys. Uh, but really nice, large war here for Invicta. Um Really nice to see, and still some new faces. To, uh, some of these newer faces I've been seeing still chalking up the three stars like champs. So you know, their uh, swarm is really, really producing some very quality attackers for us. Uh, would really like just to edify that whole point of what they're doing for us down in swarm because they're just keeping the keeping the three star factory pumping for uh, for Invicta and then 2.0. So beautiful. Gonna show this one last attack. Alpha really impressed me on this one. Kind of a kind of a strange base. Um, I'm gonna zoom in a touch. <clears throat> You'll see Jaws easy lure, right? So double poison, o OP. <laughs> see you later, CC troops. The only thing that will not kill is a dragon, or sorry, is a, a golem or a lava hound. It will still do huge damage to them. Um, you gotta, th I, I forget what the comparison of a max dragon to a max golem and hit points is. But if it kills a max dragon, you know it does at least half, um, half hit. I think half damage to a golem. But <laughs> regardless, R.I.P. C.C. troops, R.I.P. Town Hall Nine, because it's just getting easier and easier. 
<clears throat> you'll see how alpha just does it here goes ahead and just drops a little bit of a queen walk opens things up uh, queen's going to kill that gold mine and then walk on up into this compartment and really i think he just wants to take out these two air defenses again you got to be very careful now uh post update with how many point defenses your uh, queen has on you i know for example my queen is level 25 if i have five healers or six healers even on her and she takes three point defense she starts losing health the healers cannot keep up with that uh, you notice he only has two if that crossbow locked on right now her health would be going down like no question there it is see look boom bomb he's got to raise it up has to raise it up still losing health on that rage goes down that's the other thing that's your saving grace is healers under the rage will bring her back up so you just got to be more tr a little more careful right you got to make sure you got your rage ready you got to make sure you got your ability ready as soon as three point defense lock onto your queen i don't care how many healers you have on her um the way the healers are nerfed now i think it's up to a maximum of five and then they get diminishing returns or something could be wrong exactly how that works all i know is three point defense and 20 healers on your queen it, they will not keep up so you just got to be careful got to have those rages ready got to have that ability ready but you can see three air defense are down a Lava Hound goes in on that remainder and just a crap ton of loons. Sorry, two Lava Hounds on the remainder air defense. Bunch of loons all in an arc. Two rages just pushing everything through this little Tesla farm. A couple more uh, backside loons for that last Archer Tower. Not much remaining. They got two Teslas. The Expo. There goes that Archer Tower. There goes that other Archer Tower. And it is cleanup time. Nice attack, Alpha. I like how you broke this one down. A little bit of a queen charge post update queen charge um thought that was really cool to see uh showing us that it can still be done you just need to be careful you got to have that ability ready guys you got to have a rage ready um e even when you're doing super queening and farming it's possible but you burn through rages a lot so first of all don't expect to farm any elixir with your super queens um you can still definitely farm dark elixir and gold um because obviously you know your army comps you can get away without spending either of those resources um but if say you brought you know six queens for your super queen or six healers for your super queen a couple rate three rages and a jump you'll use at least two of those rages if you want to get a chunk of that base you want to get that town hall and, and continue to push you need at least two rages and a, and a jump um plus all your funneling troops so you're not going to make elixir really uh but you're going to make you can still make good dark elixir you can still get trophies you can still uh, make gold so uh kind of <laughs> kind of sucks um with the update we'll see what happens uh, from what i read i would be very 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 surprised if things just stayed as is um, i would expect to see some hot fixes up uh, coming up in within the next week or two i know the feedback as a whole was not good for supercell um i don't want to get too too much more into it i'm not super happy about it um but we'll, we'll see what happens. Just give it another week or two, and uh, I would expect a hot fix uh, if I were you guys. So uh, I'm going to call it here, guys. Really good job by Invicta. Just killed it. Cleared all those nines. I love seeing that. Love seeing the big wars. Love seeing the new faces. Um, you know, this new guy, KNX at Invicta, putting up the TH10 triple. That was that was pretty impressive. But uh, well, I guess we'll see how he does in the future. Maybe, uh, maybe one day he'll be part of 2.0. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, buddy. Nice triple. Nice triples, all you guys. So uh, I do have one more recap to do, and then uh, I got to get ready for work. It is Wednesday, and I am back to work. So uh, fun, fun stuff. But uh, we do have uh, war starting tonight in 2.0. Uh, like I said, uh, Invicta is just starting a new war as well. And I do have one more recap that I'm behind on that I'm going to finish up uh, probably uh, later on this evening. Uh, we're a little backed up on videos to, to upload to public anyway so i probably got a good 24 hours to get that one done so that'll do it for your wisdom from wiser guys just trying to help you bag that next three star and until then i'm out